Well, hello there, friends. Another one of my favorite desserts. You know, I got so many of them. I love dessert. This is a strawberry mousse with Grand Marnier. We made a strawberry mousse and Denise, and on top of it, we made a fresh strawberry and Grand Marnier sauce with a little whipped cream. Oh, it's delicious. I'm going to show you how to make it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And stay tuned, friends. We're making strawberry mousse right now. Okay, friends, let's get into it right away. I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's so simple. Anybody can do this. I promise you 100% you can make it as good as I make it, even better, maybe. <laughs> anyway, ooh, friends, uh, we got a pound of uh, frozen strawberry that I defrosted last night, and, uh, and they, they gave about um, a quarter cup of, uh, of, uh, of uh, water, then they released. Uh, so we're gonna take the strawberries, we're gonna put them in a food processor, and that, uh, let me, I didn't plan on taking this out of there. I don't wanna put it on the counter, get everything messy. So look, see, I got about a, a, a quarter cup of the juice that I'm gonna put on top of a one envelope of gelatin. Okay, one, one envelope of gelatin right in there. I, I put a little bit of the, uh, the strawberry water that came out, and I'm gonna put a little Grand Marnier. <laughs> now, um, measure carefully. Now, for those of you that don't drink alcohol, you can put a little orange juice. You should give it a try, though. <laughs> Grand Marnier, well, let me tell you, that's delicious. Um, yes, a uh, little orange juice, my friends. So what we're doing here, we are blooming Yes, we let it broom and then we'll bring it to boil. We will put it in the uh, in the uh, in the mixture. So let's process the strawberry real quick. We don't want to do it too small, but we want to process them. And uh, um, so let's see what we got here. If we have a little texture, it's cool, but it depends how, how they are. Yeah, a little texture. Let me uh, make it just a little texture. Okay, good. All right. So now. Strawberries are there. We're going to put them in a pot. That is a little too hot, but uh, I'll reduce the heat in a minute. I don't want to waste any. You know, it's about time uh, uh, Cuisinart uh, got a food processor so the blade doesn't fall. Remember the old one? The blade would always fall. Well, if it ever happened, don't try to catch it, let me tell you. Uh -huh. Those blades are mean. All right, so we got the strawberry in there. Um, and remember that was a pound of strawberry, but I got the recipe. If you go below the recipe, below the, the description, remember there's a link that says more. You click on more and it gives you the, uh, the, the, the link to the printed recipe on our website that is free. Okay, so look guys, um, we're gonna put the cream cheese in there. And this is an eight ounces of cream cheese. Uh, we're gonna put a, a three tablespoons of sugar and we're gonna put lemon curd. Lemon curd. You know, I love whenever I make a dessert, friends, to to have the, the the lemon and the orange. So lemon curd. If you can't find lemon curd, friends, uh, you want to put like a lemon jam or something. If you can find, it. you can find a grocery store lemon curd. Lemon curd. Lemon curd is uh, is butter and uh, an egg and uh, and, and a little sugar and of course lemon juice. So it's not difficult to make, but you don't use it that often. If you don't use that often, it's certainly not worth making your own. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna mix it all. Right there, we're gonna put some uh, uh, white chocolate. And, uh, and I forgot the exact amount that I put in here, but I weighted it, it'll be in the recipes. Probably somewhere around two ounces, just a little bit of white chocolate. So that's gonna be our sugar. Uh, also, the white chocolate. So, uh, and then we're gonna put a little bit of vanilla. We're gonna put um, Tahitian vanilla because I like Tahitian vanilla, but you put about a tablespoon in there. And now we're gonna bring this to boil, okay? And then we're gonna put the gelatin. Oh, we can put it right now. I'll put the gelatin right now. There's no reason to wait, you see? And then what we're gonna do, friends, we're gonna put this, let me put this right there, out of the way. Uh, what we do here, we bring this to boil. Whenever you put the gelatin, you have to bloom it first, which we did. And, uh, and then you put it in, the, and then you bring it to boil, and that's when the gelatin works. Okay, so now this mixture is gonna be hot. 
and not very smooth. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring it to boil. And then you know what I'll do? I'll use this guy right there. I'll use this guy right there to make it nice and smooth, right? And then I'm going to put it in the fridge uh, or on ice, on an ice bath, to get it to uh, 45, 50 degree Fahrenheit, cold. And then we're going to fold in some whipped cream. <laughs> it's so simple. You can all do this. My friends, I promise you, this is not difficult at all. This is like... Uh, uh, any, anybody can do that. You saw what I did. Nothing. I didn't do nothing. Look, guys, uh, I know uh, at least uh, uh, a million of you know how to use this tool, but like I always say in every video, there's a lot of new people. We welcome to our new subscriber. You guys are fantastic. We get uh, 2,000 a day on an average right now, and it's fantastic. So we want to we wanna show you this tool right here. You see a lot of ding-dong, what they use, they go like they put the orange on top of the tool. <laughs> That's not how you do it. You put the tool on top of the orange, okay? And you see how easy it is to use, you see? You still see so many cooks on YouTube doing it the wrong way, like, mama mia, look. You see how easy it is to use, friends? At least you don't have to wonder where you are. If you do the other way, you can't tell where you are. You see, look, we're gonna do this. And between the orange and the lemon and the strawberry, look. And then you go like this. Boom. It's all in there. And I think that's going to be enough. I think that's going to be enough right there. Because it's a very big orange, okay? So now, friends, we're going to mix all this up. <coughs> and then we're going to let it come to boiler. And, uh, and then we'll make it smooth and we'll put it on ice, okay? So it's going to take a little while. I don't want to do it so it's very low. Low heat, don't go out there with a high heat, you'll burn everything, my friends. Oh, pinch of salt. That day you gotta put a pinch of salt. I probably forgot. I always forget something. You know, sometimes I finish, I look at it, I forget, where I forget. I always forget something. I'll use this later. Oh, oh, the sauce, we're gonna make this sauce. Look, friends, look, 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 look at this, friend. This sauce, then we're gonna put on top of the mousse. This is a fresh strawberry sauce. If you can't find fresh strawberry, you do it with the frozen strawberries. It's fine. But this, you can just drink it like this. It's amazing. I'm going to show you how to make it. You take it, uh, this is like uh, two pints of the strawberry, you know, the little container you buy at grocery store. Put a little sugar on it, because sometimes they're not very sweet. You can put a little less sugar, a pinch of salt, and, and then... Now... Uh, for those of you that don't drink alcohol, uh, then put orange juice in there, friends. You gotta put some liquid, okay? Now, it's better with, <laughs> it's better with guam on here. <laughs> now, you know what you could do also, friends? You could put the limoncello, limoncello, and, and then stay away from the orange in that case, because this is the orange liqueur. And uh, you can do limoncello, it'll be like, you know, the strawberry lemon uh, mousse instead of strawberry orange mousse. Friends, we're gonna leave this in the fridge. If you can do it overnight, it's better. Do it overnight, it's better, and then put them in a blender, and you're gonna get this, my friends. That's what you're gonna get. This is amazing. And it's so simple, so simple. You know, sometimes the simplest thing are the best. We're gonna bring this to boil, then we're gonna put it on ice, and you see, you have to, you have to use the mixer here, because you see, look, it's not doing, it's not getting very smooth, so look. That's okay though. We got those things right there. And we're gonna put it in, I'll show you. It's gonna be smooth as silk. And then we're gonna put it on ice and then chill it, okay? Let me do it real quick, I'll show you. This is a great tool. Those are fantastic. I love those tools. Put it right there. And, uh, and voila, look. In no time at all, friend, this is gonna be smooth as silk. And you see, and the gelatin doesn't work until it's cool again. All right, so we're gonna get that nice and smooth. See, look, looks much better, friends. All right, I'm gonna scrape everything, make sure it's nice and smooth, and I'm gonna take it, put it in a, in a, in a stainless steel bowl on top of ice, and I'm gonna cool it, and when it's about 45 degrees, I come back. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, friends, you see? You can see the texture now. See, I have it on a nice bath. And uh, now you can't just put it in an ice bath and go do something. You gotta mix it every so often. Otherwise, what's gonna happen is the, uh, let me put it on, the, on here now. 
I just bath, yeah, you get rid of that. Um, but um, you have to mix it every so often. It could take maybe an hour, an hour and a half. It depends, you know. Uh, uh, but you want to mix it uh, every like uh, five, ten minutes because if you don't, what's going to happen, the one is touching the bottom of the bowl, it's going to congeal, and then you're going to have a tough time mixing it. So every ten minutes, just mix it up until you get to a, uh, a temperature of about 45. Or, or 40 is even better, okay? And if you got one of those digital thermometer, that makes your life a lot easier. You know, you don't have to put it in dirty. I'm at 42. 42 is cool. 42 is cool, right? So now I whip some um, a, a cup and a half of whipped cream, and now I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna take a spoon. Here, I can put it in the ice. I don't need it. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna put it in just a little bit first, and we fold it in. And then that's all. You see, now it's gonna thin your uh, your your um, your butter or whatever we want to call it. But that's exactly the purpose of it. You see, that's the purpose of it, friends. And uh, now you can put as much sugar you want. Really, sugar is uh, is really up to you, friends. You can put sugar in your whipped cream if you want. I didn't put any because uh, I found that the uh, the mixture was uh, sweet enough, but. Those strawberries were actually sweet, very sweet. So if they're very sweet, you may you watch for the sugar. It's up to you. Some people like overly sweet desserts. Oh, I tell you, some people they got so many. They got such a sweet too. I mean, I love sweet. Don't get me wrong, but I don't like it when it's too sweet. How can anything be too sweet? <laughs> no, no, but it is. Sometimes you go to a restaurant and you love the dessert and you go, God, it's so sweet, I can't even finish it. And I have to be able to finish all my dessert. This is so amazing, friends. And it, look, a child could do this. I mean, really, literally, right? This is nothing to it. Let's make sure we got everything mixed up well. Um, and don't worry about it too much mixing it, mixing it. I say that and I keep mixing it. You got this beautiful pale color right there. And let me tell you, when this is at room temperature, my friends, it's amazing. I promise you, I promise you, I wouldn't mis mislead you, I promise you. Now, what we're going to do here, friends, we're going to take a, uh, a martini-style glass. It could be whatever you want, okay? And we're going to put it in here like this. And then we're going to bang it. You see? We want to make sure they're nice and smooth even because um, uh, we're going to put the strawberry sauce on top of it. And then more whipped cream. But we gotta wait. So I like to wait really at least six, eight hours. You can wait overnight. Just make them, put them in the fridge, put a plastic wrap on it, put them in the fridge the next day. You, all you gotta do is put the strawberry sauce that I got right there, put it right on top of it, a little whipped cream. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. So I'll see you tomorrow <laughs> because I'm gonna put them in the fridge overnight. All right, guys? I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, friends, the sauce, the, the strawberry. So when you're ready to puree, when you're ready to make the sauce, uh, an hour or so before, you want to drain it because you may have too much liquid. You see, the strawberries have released quite a bit of liquid. Plus, we got the Grand Marnier in there, so <laughs> we're not going to throw it away. But um, we're going to puree first and see how much liquid we need, you see? So this is really simple. This is a strawberry sauce at its best, at its most simplest. Uh, uh, preparation, nothing to it. All right, we'll puree, we'll puree, and then we're gonna look, and it's probably gonna be a little too thick. That's why we got that, uh, that Grand Marnier. See, it's still a puree right now. It's not exactly a sauce, so we're gonna put a little bit more, and then we're gonna let it go. We're gonna let it go. And that's all there is to it. And then what you get, friends, when you're finished, you see? Let me get it over there. You got it, Jack? Right there, you got me? See right there? This is what you get, friends, see? A beautiful sauce. Just the strawberry with a little hint of orange and the Grand Marnier. You could put some zest also if you want it to be even more uh, smooth. Okay, but it's really simple, friends. And you see, look, that's why you want to be careful not to put all the liquid, you see? I don't need any liquid. I just need to puree it a little bit more. And this, my friend, you put in a freezer, in the freezer, in the last 17 years in the freezer. 
No, no, really, it lasts a long time, I promise you, friends. All right, so you got that's very simple, right? Use what you want, use what you need, and freeze the rest. I promise you, take it out of six months later, it's fantastic. Let me show you what I got here, friends. I got those little uh, martini-style uh, dessert glasses, and I got those uh, that I use for, um, it's not a parfait, I forgot the name of the thing that I use. Uh, um, I don't know, there's a name for this. But anyway, so th this is a little small, really. I'd rather have one of those. <laughs> Uh, so this is what I made, okay, with a recipe that I, I'm going to give you printed. Six little one and two big one, probably uh, uh, six big ones. You you could no no not six big ones. You could do probably a little bigger than this. This is very small. This is like three bite. I gotta have at least two of those. How do we make it pretty? Now very simple, friends. We take the sauce, we cover the top. Remember, we gotta wait a few hours. Okay, you gotta wait at least five, six hours before you can do this. It's gotta set, right? And then you take a little whipped cream. Very simple here, friends. A child could do this. Let me take the whipped cream, the thing out of there, so it's not in the way. You take a little whipped cream right there, friends. Hey, you, come back over here. I gotta open it up, I forgot to open it up. <laughs> I always forget something. We take just a little thing of whipped cream, nothing special. Then you know what I did? I saved a few strawberries for a decoration. So I go like this, right? And I and I cut them, but I don't cut them all the way through. That's the way we used to do it in the 70s, friends. In the um, in the 80s and in the 90s, and now all of a sudden they, they don't do this thing anymore. But you see, you just take a strawberry like that. Very old fashioned, but, but I'm old fashioned. I like being old fashioned. <laughs> When you're my age, you can't help being the old fashioned guy. Right? So look guys, you put it right there, and then you take a little mint leaves, because uh, they look cool, and they smell cool. And you don't need to do much more than this, my friends. Right there, I'm not sure what camera Jack has got it on. Is that good right there, Jack? Right there, look, see? It's pretty. Oh, you can put two mint leaves if you're overly uh, minty. <laughs> Overly minty. How'd I come up with those things? Hey, spoon, spoon. The best moment for me. I'm good here, Jack. I can just dig in. I'm gonna do it. Look at that, look how beautiful that is. Okay, let me see if I can show you the inside. Let me just uh, remove that strawberry for now because I wanna show you the inside, my friends. You know, I take a bigger spoon, a bigger spoon. Now, I don't know if I left it long enough, but let's see. Oh yeah, well you can't see anything because, uh, oh you know what? I tell you what, <laughs> mm. Mm. let me show you the texture on the inside. Look at this. You see friends? Well you probably can't see it, okay? But it's, it's amazing. Mm. Mm. Wow. So simple to make. Remember I didn't do anything special. You can all do this. Printed recipe is going to have the exact measurement. Friends, I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. Thanks for watching. You guys are fantastic. We love you. Okay, friends. The one I showed you earlier, they were in the fridge maybe six to eight hours. They got to be overnight. I want to show you the difference. Okay, friends. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. Look at the difference. I want to. Uh, oh, yeah. You probably can see it right there. You see the air bubble right there, my friends? Let me see if I can get a better spoon. I, I think, yeah, oh, I think, I think you got it. I think you can see it right there. You see, it's much more airy, and that spoon is bigger. Mmm, mmm. Wait 24 hours. The test even better. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Mm, man, this is better than good. Mmm, mmm. With a sauce like that, mmm. I could eat the whole thing, mmm. But I'm not going to.